All right, guys, this is Chris. I am in the back of my solitaire DT. I'm in the bin. So we had some training uh, getting going. As you can see, I am down inside the bin. Um, what I wanted to talk a little bit about, because I know we're all getting going, we're all learning about these new DT drills. We had some training with Lemkin the other day, and we were talking about the cameras. So this camera right here is one that comes mounted on the back of the drill to show you all your seed rows. I like to see if someone's behind me or what if I'm backing up to something, but also you can kind of, you can see pretty well your defined seed rows. But we got talking about these cameras and they come with another camera and an adapter to plug two of the cameras into one and you can see it in your monitor. One farmer and you know, I'm glad the farmers share information. One farmer's like, hey, I put the other camera inside the bin and uh, just drill the new hole, run a grommet, zip tie it all together. But then uh, Richard Johnson from Lemkin came out and said, hey, I got one better for you. There's a farmer in Montana that uh, kind of did the same thing. So right here, so this is the bolt hole from the camera on the outside. He used the same bolt hole, mounted the bracket. Uh, this wire here comes from that camera on the outside. This is from the one on the inside. And then this is that box that you split it. So here's one camera, here's the other camera. This is the same cable. He had, I had to cut the heat shrink off. Same cable that goes to the cab that was already installed from the back camera. I just mounted that um, splitter in the bin and then zip tied everything. So you still have just that one cable. You don't have to touch anything else from here to the tractor. And uh, we will see here in a second how well it looks. I will go into the cab of the tractor. After I get out, I'll put the screen back in and uh, show you guys what the screen looks like on the cab of the tractor. All right, so now I'm up here in the cab of the tractor. There's the Lemkin DT. Um, here is the first camera that was installed. And when I did install the camera, um, I, you have to go in and tell it that there's two cameras. I will show you the second camera in the bin so there it is. However, when the lid is closed, unless you turn the light on that's inside the bin, it'll just be a pitch black image. But that's what little bit of wheat I had left uh, when the upper bin sensor was starting to beep at me. Um, but I will show you. So you just toggle between one and two to see the different images. You can have it on a sequence so it'll show one for so long the other for so long really i i mean you don't need to see either one of them unless you know your bin's getting low but uh, when we push on this drill button right here if, when if and when it comes up there we go so you'll go to settings apps this cci cam was a little picture of a camera right there Touch that, and then this video mini plexer. You have to turn that on if you're using that uh, video mini plexer, the splitter that I put in in the bin back there. It comes with that off because it doesn't use it. You can have it uh, reverse gear detection, so when you put your tractor in reverse, it will turn on. You know, you can turn one of them on. You have to tell it, you know, how many cameras there are. I think you can have up to like. Well, I thought it was just eight, but as many cameras as you want. Um, let's see. So then we'll go back here, click on our camera. When you click on the camera and you touch it, there's this little box up here pops up in the corner. You can hit that. You can tell it what you want it to do. Mirror than an image. So in case it's something's inverted or, or you mount it upside down or whatever time you can set how long you want it to see that and sequence you can go through so you can go through and on the sequence here camera one 55 seconds you can turn it on you can change how long you want that on so you can just have it go between one and two uh, or all the cameras you can just have it scroll between them 
But that is how I hooked up my camera, the simplest way. There's no drilling. Um, there's no running any wires. You just put that multi video multiplexer in the bin back there and then come in here and change a few settings on the screen. Anyway, we got some good videos coming. Uh, hope to see you soon. Uh, we got a long Lemkin video coming out. We went down to Arizona and tested out all of their their new stuff and learned about everything they have. So.